Nicole's impact still being felt across the Treasure Coast and the Palm Beaches. Some customers still without power tonight. And WPTV's Kate Hussey is here, and you've been checking the numbers all day. We all know, we hear it's not widespread, but if you're the one with the outage, it's widespread enough. What's it been looking like for you as you've examined it through the day? Michael, we actually have some good news tonight. Okay. We've seen those power outages significantly decline yeah. tonight as of right now. In just our five county viewing area, almost 800 FPL customers are still in the dark. Now again, this is a huge improvement than what we saw earlier tonight. This is actually more than eight times the number of outages that we saw just a few hours ago is what we saw. Now during the storm, we even saw some power outages caused by transformer explosions like this. This one was actually captured on a home security camera in Boynton Beach. The majority of the outages now are in Indian River County. Just over 500 customers there are without power still. St. Lucie County has about 130 customers in the dark and Palm Beach County County 70 customers in Martin County 20 now over in Okeechobee all FPL customers have their lights back on. We're also getting a look at the number of people who utilize county run shelters across our viewing area. About 800 residents stayed in a shelter. More than 500 of those people were in Palm Beach County. Michael. Thank you as always. It's nice to see those positive trend lines and it takes a lot of digging to go through those numbers. We appreciate it. Your storm coverage throughout uh, the week. So. Oh, thank you, Michael. It's been a pleasure to be able to serve the people of South Florida, especially in a hurricane like this. Get some rest. You too. Well deserved.